today we're going to do a short demo of value types versus reference types. You can find the instructions for this demo at prodataman.com in the blog section. Uh, the blog is titled Reference Types versus Value Types. Anyhow, let's go ahead and start up Visual Studio and we'll create a new project. Let's create a new project console application project in the Windows desktop uh, template folder. If you don't see this template folder, refer to the uh, earlier blog post about uh, installing the correct version of Visual Studio Express. So we're going to call our project value types and we'll call our solution value types versus reference types and we'll click OK. So in our value types project here inside of the value types namespace we're going to create a new struct or new structure called person and in our new person structure we're just going to create a first name and last name property. Public string, first name, and last name. And then inside of our program, in our main method, we're simply going to create an instance of that person structure. We're going to put it in the variable called p1 We'll set our variable equal to a new instance of the person structure. And then, using an initializer, we'll set the first name and last name properties of our structure to Joe and Blow, respectively. And close our initializer. And then we'll create a new person variable. We'll call it P2. And we'll set that equal to our P1 person struct. Now let's change the last name of our P2 person variable. We'll set the last name of our P2 instance of the person struct equal to brown. So at this point we set our p1 instance to blow. We made a copy of p1 and put it into p2 and we set the last name of the copy p2 equal to brown. Now let's see what happens if we do a console dot write line and write the contents of our person structure out to the console. So we're going to say person one's last name is whatever the value of p1 dot last name is. And then because less typing means less typos, we're just going to copy that paste it down here and change the names to protect the innocent. We're going to change P1 to P2 and over here where it says person 1's last name we're going to say person 2's last name. Now let's see what happens when we run that. We're going to start that without debugging. And it says P1's last name is Blow, P2's last name is Brown, and because we did start without debugging, it automatically gives us a press any key to continue. If we press the any key, <laughs> then it ends our application. So now let's go ahead and create another project in our solution. And we'll test the reference types. So our new project will be another console application. And we will call it ref types. And in our ref types project, 
inside of our ref types namespace we're going to create a new class class person and inside of our new class we are going to create a public string first name and last name properties and then just like before in our main method we're going to create a new instance of the person class and then we're going to copy the person class into a new variable and set the last name of the new variable and print it out to the console basically the exact same thing that we did in the value types project so let's just go over there and copy the exact same code but this time we go to our reference types project when we create a new instance of person we're talking about the class person and not the structure person now let's set our reference types project to be the startup project notice once we set it as the startup project ref types is bolded and value types is not so now if we start without debugging we're running the reference types project notice the difference here now person one's last name is set to brown and because even though we made a copy of the variable all we did was copy the reference that points to the same location in memory where that value is stored so when we change the last name of P2 we are really just changing the referenced value of P1 as well so both P1 and P2 have the same last name values we referenced the same value with our reference type again for detailed instructions on how to complete this demo uh, you can see the value types versus reference types blog post on ProDataMan.com. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up button down below. Also be sure to check out one of the related videos off to the side over here. If you really enjoyed it, you can help out by sharing the video on Facebook or Twitter. Encourage your friends to subscribe. Thanks again.